Uh oh. Something got it? Yep, we got a fish on, guys. There he is. He beat it on the way up. No, dude, that's just a big. Oh my gosh. That is a tank bluegill. Got him. Finally. Look at that guy. He fits in both my two hands. Man, dude. There he is. We are lifting these bluegills out here. Oh my gosh, that is a nice fish. There we go on the minnow. First fish of the day. Oh my, I thought for sure that was a bass. Dude, all these bluegill we're getting out of here are big. Hey, buddy. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are back on the ice. I am fishing a pond that I fished last year and we caught some nice bluegill and bass through the ice. So we got some live minnows that we are gonna have probably set at about a foot or two above the bottom. Hopefully a big bass comes by and picks that up. And we are also gonna be jigging for some big bluegill. So it should be an awesome day. Don't go anywhere and let's see what we can pull out. All right, so on this pole, we are gonna have a set in about 13 feet of water. As you can see, there's already fish down there. And what I have on here is just a normal bait hook with a tiny split shot about seven, eight inches above that and a tiny float that we are gonna have probably about a couple feet off the bottom. Just got regular live minnows in here. We are gonna hook these guys through the back. Make sure there's no scales on that hook point. Drop this minnow down. Just a normal slip bobber. He's in about 12 feet. We're gonna let him sit there swimming around, hopefully get ate by a bass. And we are gonna hop to another hole and start jigging. Alrighty, finally got everything set. Got the minnow out. We got about two and a half hours of daylight. So it should be a pretty awesome day. Let's find some fish. Oh, bobber's down. Wait, is it? I think it went down. Yep, we got one on, guys. Is he still on? No, we came off. That sucks. Did not take long to get one on the minnow. But unfortunately, he got away. Bobber's getting bit. It's down. Did we got him? No! Uh oh. Something got it? Yep, we got a fish on, guys. Probably a bass. Feels decent, too. First fish of the day. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a decent fish. Stay on, baby, please. It's gotta be a nice fish. Guys, on the minnow, I came over here to check it because I saw it going down and something had it, but he dropped it. That's a nice fish. That's, that looks like a two or three pounder, maybe. Kind of hard to tell. He's fighting me hard though. Oh yeah, that's a nice bass. That's a two or three pounder. Oh my gosh, that is a nice fish. Come here, baby. There we go on the minnow. First fish of the day. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Barely hooked out, all pressure. That is a nice bucket mouth. I think that's my biggest bass through the ice. Fighting hard on that ice rod, man. Beautiful. Thanks for playing. Let's get another one. That was like the third or fourth fish that we had bite it too. Good thing we got two dozen in here because that was a lot of fun. Okay, so our minnow is back down there after catching that nice bass. There's a fish on there. He's on my bait. He's got it. What has we got? Kind of hard to tell if he's big or not. My drag's kind of loose. He feels decent. Might be a little bass or a big bluegill. Dude, that is a big bluegill. Dude, we are in for one heck of a day. Oh my gosh, he smacked it too. Another thing is, these are the first two holes I've tried. Just sat down, dropped the minnow, put the jig over here, and there's fish all over. 
There we go. That is a nice bluegill. Biggest one I've caught in a while. Looks like a pure bluegill too. Thanks for playing, buddy. There's a fish on the bottom. Let's see if he eats it. He's on it. There he is. He bit it on the way up. That's a good fish. I think it's a bass. Three pound test line. No, dude, that's just a big. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this bluegill. Oh my gosh. That is a tank bluegill. Man, dude. That is the biggest bluegill I've ever caught in a long time. Oh my, I thought for sure that was a bass. Oh my gosh. That is a tank bluegill. See you, buddy. Let's go, dude. We've caught like three fish so far and they have all been really good sized. Man, it does not get much better than that. Just drilled a new hole in the same area. Still close to all the action I've been having. This hole is about two feet shallower. About the same as the one with the minnow, I believe. Not sure what happened. When I first got here, I was seeing a lot of marks. Caught some decent fish and it's kind of shut off the past like 20 minutes or so. But we're not giving up. Got him. Finally. Another good fish. It's a big bluegill or bass. Dude, every single fish we've hooked into so far has been nice. Please be a big bluegill. That would be awesome. And it is. That's another freaking stud bluegill. Dang, dude. Look at that guy. He fits in both my two hands. That is unbelievable. Thank you for biting, buddy. fighting hard man those big bluegill are just as fun as catching the bass man i swear there's a fish got him oh yeah another good bluegill ah, got stuck on the transducer but still got him Another big bluegill, guys. This one's not as big, but he's still pretty good size. I had to raise this guy up about a foot or two before he would eat it. There we go. Beautiful. They're all good size, too. There's a fish. 14, 15 feet. It's all right. Eat it. There he is. Oh yeah, that's another decent fish. Man, I'm just hole hopping. Slow down. Hasn't been as good of a day as I thought it would be the way it started out, but we got another good fish hook on here. I've never caught so much big bluegill in my life. That is another tank, dude. And look how he ate it. You can't even see that jig. Look at that beast. We are lipping these bluegills out here. Fatties, man. Begs my whole hand. Let's go, dude. It has not been the most fire day, but the fish we are hooking into are all really good size, which I would rather take quality over quantity any day. There's one. He's on it in like 12 feet of water. Oh yeah. Yep. Got him. Here are, he missed it the first time and I dropped right back down there. He bit it again. Dude, all these bluegill we're getting out of here are big. Such a blast. On this ultra light rod. Oh my gosh. Dude, all these bluegill are so fat. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Having such a blast out here. All but like one bluegill so far have been like bigger than my hand. Let's see, buddy. There's a fishing like nine and a half feet got him okay good fish 
a good bluegill, just like last time. All the fish are getting crazy out here right when the sun sets. Alrighty guys, calling it right there. It is really dark, it get dark really fast once that sun set because it is cloudy. That wind died down. Unfortunately, we did not catch a bunch of fish, but fortunately the fish that we did catch had some nice size. And when I first got here, set my minnow up, it was getting bit pretty fast. Caught that nice, probably about a one and a half, two pound largemouth. Caught some nice bluegill on the jig though. So I'm really happy about that. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to head on out of here. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.